on, let's get it, fam. What's up, fam? Welcome back to the cookout. It's been a minute, right? I wanted to get on here and do a breakfast for you all. I know usually we're cooking dinner, but hey, this morning we hungry. We need some breakfast on the Blackstone. So what are we doing? We are doing a hash brown omelet. You heard me, hash brown omelet. So we're gonna get this cook started. We're gonna talk a little bit, kind of get caught up because I feel like the cookout family been missing for a minute. Smoking, smoking, Blackstone still been cooking. We might have been absent, but the Blackstone has been cooking. So I'm gonna use some turkey bacon today. I use some Simply Potatoes because you know, I ain't trying to shred my own. They already do it for you, make the system work easy, right? We got some peppers, some cheese, some eggs. Let's get started. Now, I'll just say this, when you're making hash browns, the key is butter and patience because it takes a lot of butter, baby, and it takes a lot of patience because it takes time for these hash browns to get right. So I'm just gonna use my little chopper here, put some butter on there. Look at that. Y'all know we already had it preheating. Yeah, it looks a little brown, but that's all right. We greasing it down. Y'all know I like to grease it down. And it's on low. Cause like I said, it's butter and patience. So we're just gonna let that butter melt a little bit. Ah, I'm out of gloves, out of gloves. So I'm just gonna be trying to pour as much as I can without touching, but it's just me and Tim eating this. So I ain't even worried, I ain't even sweating. So you put your hash browns on there. Mix that butter in there. Y'all hear the chef noise. Just mix it up, melting that butter in there. Scrape off the extra. Flatten it up. This heat from this black zone, y'all, is something serious. And what I'm doing is just spreading it on the griddle. Trying to even it out as much as possible and keep it connected. And let it start doing what it do. While it's doing that, I'm gonna add just a little salt. Ground up a little pepper on there. Y'all know I like a little heat, not too much. Put that on there. And this is where the patience kicks in because you have to be patient to let these hash browns cook. But while they're cooking, I'm gonna go ahead on this side, get me some Pam, spray my griddle. I'm gonna go ahead and let that turkey bacon get to cooking. Now you can use whatever kind of bacon you want. I'm choosing turkey bacon. We were on the health kick for a minute. Still are trying to do better about it, y'all, but hey, you can use that regular pork pork if you want to. Ain't nothing wrong with a little pig every now and again. Yeah, let me just give you a little update about us. About five or six months ago, we got sick, COVID, both of us. So we didn't do any filming. Then after COVID, we recovered, we were doing okay. I started getting sick. I didn't know what was going on with me, having all kinds of issues. Ended up having to have two surgeries back to back unexpectedly. So trying to recover from that. Then Tim's shoulder is giving him a fit and he ends up having a total shoulder replacement. So y'all, it's been rough at the mountain. But life goes on at the mountain, right? So we wanna just kinda give you an update. I appreciate everybody who kinda messaged us and asked, hey, where y'all at, what are you doing? We are fine, thank you. 
the cooks will start back up, other little things will start back up. I just appreciate the family missing the cookout. So let's get back to this breakfast, y'all, on the Blackstone. Y'all know the butter is what makes it do what it do. Scrape a little bit in there. Let that melt in there. Let it do what it do. Then I'm gonna just turkey bacon. Y'all know it doesn't take long for it to cook. And we will be adding this bacon to the omelet. I know it might sound like, what? A hash brown omelet? Stick with me, stick with me. I actually saw this recipe from another YouTuber. Um, I think it's called True North. But, um, okay, we'll give it a try. Turn this turkey bacon. I probably could turn this side up a little bit more to let this turkey bacon cook a little more because y'all see it ain't cook. Y'all probably saying, yeah. Oh. Trust the process, people. Trust the process. So I did turn the heat up a little bit to get this turkey bacon to cook in a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little more Pam right here because we're gonna put some peppers on our hash brown. So I've got some red and orange peppers cut up and I'm just gonna put them on the griddle and cook them until they get tender. Now you can do onions, you can do mushrooms, whatever you like on an omelet. Some people like spinach. Hey, it's yours. Do what you like, whatever you like. So I'll be back because we're gonna add eggs to the hash brown. I know that sounds disgusting, but trust the process. This is a hash brown omelet, so I will be back when we're adding that in the cheese. All right, family, we are back. We are going to flip over this turkey bacon while it continues to cook. It's still cooking nice and slow and even, so that's all right. We're just gonna let it do what it do. This piece right here look like he's getting a little more heat on. Ain't nothing wrong with a little crispy turkey bacon. A little crispy turkey bacon. Look at that. Then, like I said, we're just cooking this just till it gets tender. Look at that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna add the eggs to this hash browns. I have already mixed up. This is three eggs. I have my salt and pepper already in it. Whip it up, baby, now and you're just going to pour it over the hash browns. Look at that. I'm gonna take my spatula. It's always somebody trying to get away. Look at them trying to get away. Get back in there. And we're just gonna let that cook. Trust me, the egg is gonna cook. It's going to be done because the hash brown is still cooking and the egg is cooking inside of it. So this is a very hearty meal, y'all. Very hearty. So we're gonna let the egg cook on here. Let this turkey bacon continue to cook. I will come back when I'm ready to add my cheese and start putting those veggies on there. Come back now. So the egg's doing pretty good, but I'm gonna move this turkey bacon, y'all. Getting a little too crispy for us, sister. Look at that. We're gonna move it over here. Like I said, cook your bacon like you want your bacon. Always somebody in the comments talking about, I ain't like that. Okay, we'll cook yours like you want it, sis. Bruh. This how I like mine. Okay. So I'm just going to flip it over, let it continue to cook. I move that over because over here, my heat is down lower. I'm going to take those off, though, because they're still going to cook once I put them in the actual omelet. And then I'm just tossing these around. They're getting good and tender, getting a little char on them. Look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna show you over here what the actual hash browns, what's going on. Change up my spatula. You see the egg is starting to cook. Still see it's a little wet in there, but look at that at the bottom. <laughs> oh, y'all. It's about to do what it really do. So while that's continuing to cook, what I'm gonna do, I have grated some sharp cheese and put a little bit of mozzarella cheese in there too to give it a little, oh. You know a little on. Uh. So I'm gonna take that and just spread it. Probably could use a little bit more cheese, but you know what? It's all good. Put that cheese on there. Let it get a little melt melt. Finish it off. So 
we're going to let this cheese melt, let these eggs finish cooking while this bacon is going. I may off camera just chop up the bacon because I'm going to put bacon pits on here, pieces, bits. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I probably won't do that on camera, but just know I'm going to chop it up. And I might show you one or two and I put it on there. But before I add it, I will be back. All I'm going to do now, you see the cheese is melting really good. You see the eggs filling in where they're cooking. I'm just going to add the bacon on top. Some other pieces are big. I know y'all probably like, dang, she could have known. I could have did what I did. Now, stay with me, people. Stay with me. I know it's on social media. We so judgmental of people. But that's okay. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. So we're just gonna put some bacon in there. Almost looks like a pizza, right? Put that in there. Bam. Now I'm gonna add these veggies over here. And just drizzle a little bit in there. Like I said, you can add as much as you like to your omelet. And just spread it through. Hearty meal, y'all. This is a hearty meal. You got the bacon, you have your veggies, you have your eggs, you got some potatoes, par tea. All right, now this is the fun part. You separate it. I'm making two omelets. All you're doing is separating it. Potatoes, like such. Bam, wham, thank you, ma'am. Now it's time for that flip. Close that bad boy up. Press and hold, press and hold. Take it underneath, flip it over. Press and hold, press and hold. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Nothing but deliciousness going on on this griddle this morning. Woo! For a little extra flavor, a little kick. We're gonna add some more of this Creole sauce. Just for a little extra, mm. you feel me? All right. I'm gonna go grab a little bit more cheese because I wanna sprinkle a little cheese on the top and let it melt. And when I come back, I will have my final presentation of my hash brown omelet. I will be back fam. So I went and grated a little bit more cheese. Just gonna sprinkle some on the top. Little cheese. Got to have it cheesy. And I'm gonna close the black stone. Let some of that heat get to the top and melt a little bit of that cheese. And when I come back, y'all, it's gonna be on the plate and ready to eat. So I'll talk to you in a minute. Alright, y'all, look at this. That cheese has melted enough for me. <laughs> I went fancy on y'all today. Woo! Gonna grab it. Throw it on the plate. Woo, cheese is melting just like a like it. We're gonna grab omelet number two. Put them on the plate. Yeah, look at them. Yes, sir. Plated it up. Now, if you wanna get real fancy, just do a little drizzle. Just do a little drizzle. Just a little drizzle. Just a little drizzle. Make it pretty. Presentation is everything. Bam. Hash brown omelet, y'all. Check it out. Hey, it's just that easy. Blackstone is a beast to cook on, y'all. Get you one. Chad, pull it out. Get the dust off. Go ahead, man, and get that thing going. So, y'all, I hope y'all had fun at the cookout. We are back. We are back. I hope for this channel that it inspires, empowers, entertains, and keeps you informed. Be blessed, family.